All right, folks, we're uh, out here today again in my uh, home territory of Kingwood, Texas. Uh, you might be able to hear I'm right beside the community pool. You can hear the kids all hollering and having fun. But bees are going in up here at the top of this little roof line, and I can hear them inside this cavity, which makes a lot of sense. It looks a lot like the Atascacita job that I did. Um, so we're going to go ahead and pull down the trim that's along the wall here and this bottom piece of um, soffit board. And uh, hopefully that'll be enough to expose the colony real quick. We'll just cut them out. The homeowner said they've only noticed them for about a week, but pretty good activity. So uh, I guess we'll just see what we find. But the funny thing is we're looking along the house here and you go all along that spot and further out there and on that corner and on over and every single one of these corners is just like this. They've got that hollow spot and uh, really bad trim work. So this one even looks like a squirrel but gnawing onto there. You can see where the paint's all ripped off from something. So uh, anyway, I advise the homeowner heard that they need to get a contractor out here or a roofer and patch all that up because we're all seriously going to get bees again and again and again. So, But don't want to waste no time. Got to get after it. So we got it opened up. So far anyway. Homeowner noticed them a week ago, huh? Yeah. The uh, combs up there are dark enough to say they've been here at least since this spring, if not last summer that they moved in. But hey, that's fine. You don't Can't hate on people for not noticing. But uh, got a bunch of capped honey over here. And some capped honey in there. And some open nectar here. And then brood nest all back in there and back in there. But uh, anyway, better keep working. All right, well, we're back out here day two. Uh, yesterday, it took me a lot longer than I thought because of cutting all the honeycombs. Uh, I've got a few left to cut out yet, uh, a little bit more honey, and uh, hopefully we get that done relatively quickly here. I got everything set up, and uh, then we'll start working on brood combs and looking for our queen. All right, folks, well, I'll just give you a little update. Um, as the end of the, how the end of this job went, uh, I didn't, didn't really get a chance to make a wrap up at the end of the job because it was after dark and I was truly worn out but uh, anyway this is the colony now sitting out of my buddy's house in Porter um, just checked through it I did find just one frame I just did a real quick check I found one frame where they're pulling some emergency cells so uh, I don't think I got the queen I didn't think I got her the day of um, and I don't know where she went I don't know if she crawled off up in the hole and died or what happened but uh, it doesn't look like at least with them pulling the emergency cells in this frame and again that was just one frame could be that she was in there and they're just pulling them just because they felt like it, but uh, I mean, I have seen that happen before, you know, do removals and uh, check the next, about two days later or whatever, and, and no, or, you know, two removals, I did two removals, the one with the tractor trailer tire, sorry, I'm stuttering and getting confused here, it's hot out, but no, I, when I did the removal on that tire, uh, if y'all recall, I mentioned how afterwards, the uh, on that one, I caught the queen, I knew she was alive, I knew she was healthy, and yet the hive pulled emergency cells anyway. And I couldn't really explain why. So there is always a chance they do that. Just, you know, the stress and getting stirred up, getting moved around. Sometimes they'll pull emergency cells even when they don't need them. And then they'll just tear them down uh, later on. But anyway, here's the colony as it sits. The bees are in there covering the frames good. They look healthy. Uh, they look like they're doing just fine. So, yeah, we're going to call this one done. The, I, went, I went by the house today for the client. And uh, there weren't any, there was no cluster of bees that we could find anywhere. There was maybe a handful, maybe ten bees flying around, a couple drones, or they're just there trying to pick up some free honey, I think, so. Um, anyway, I, I think they're okay. I told them to go ahead and have a contractor come out and close everything up, and uh, should be all right. But you can see the, the attitude of these girls has not changed any. I don't know if you guys can see them here on the camera, but they're still all buzzing around and irritating me, so. Whether or not they raise emergency queen or whether or not they have the original queen, either way, I'm giving them a new queen soon enough, because I cannot deal with having, having irritable bees like this. But anyway, We'll call this one a wrap. Sorry I couldn't give you all a better ending to it, but that's just the way it goes sometimes.